The Solomon's deal with China has happened on your government's watch. Is the PM trying to distract from that by criticising Labor and uh, Richard Miles yesterday in particular? Well, we are concerned about um, these ongoing developments between China and the Solomons, and we're working with the Pacific family um, you know, to, to, to ensure that uh, you know, we continue to protect everyone's um, safety and security in the region. Um, but what Richard Miles has said in this speech, which there are reports today he provided a copy of to the Chinese embassy before he delivered it, are very concerning. Uh, Richard Miles was basically welcoming um, China's greater involvement in the Pacific, welcoming their increased funding commitments, dismissing the strategic uh, concerns. Uh, and so we won't take a lecture from the Labor Party about um, national security and defence, particularly because when Labor was last in office, defence spending as a share of the overall economy fell to just 1.56%, the lowest since 1938. We've increased defence spending to 2% and rising. We've got a major defence capability uh, plan in place, um, building new ships, purchasing new vehicles, mm. purchasing um, new, new, uh, new uh, fighter aircraft because we recognise that we need to invest more in Australia's national security because our region is changing and there's this broader battle and you're seeing it play out in the Ukraine between autocracies and democracies in our region is becoming increasingly unstable. Finally, and it's very important, a lot of Australians are very nervous about the imminent interest rate rises. They've been through a tough couple of years. Mm. It's going to be a huge challenge for whoever wins this election. Well, the economy's in good shape, Rob, and you can see that in the... Well, I think we might have... Uh, just, and, yeah, we've and got, you can we've see got that in, back again. in business investment. Rob? Uh, um, we've got you back, um, Josh, now. Yep. OK. Thank and you. Just Thanks on that, just on that um, question on you... interest rates. Yes, so on, on interest rates, uh, what you can see is that um, the Australian economy... Uh, is, in, is in good shape. Um, we've seen that in the unemployment rate. We've seen that in the growth rate. Uh, we've seen that in the pipeline of business investment and indeed the pipeline of broader infrastructure investment. Um, but what we uh, do know is that the Labor Party will increasingly spend more on um, uh, across the economy and that will put um, unnecessary upward pressure on interest rates. So we're all for lower taxes. Uh, we're for more targeted spending. We've turned off that emergency economic support um, as the economy is strengthened. And, you know, Tim, the, the contrast is, is, very, is very clear with the Labor Party. The Labor Party will always spend more, they'll always tax more, and the economy will be weaker under them. There'll be fewer jobs created. They can't be trusted. This is not the time, Tim, to change course. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg, thank you so much. Thanks, Tim.